Uh, hello guys and welcome. So this is a tutorial on how to mod Skate 3 textures. And yeah, so what you want to do is you want to get uh, Skate 3. You want to get uh, my version of Skate 3, which is a version that runs off of unpacked files. And if it wasn't for that, and this would not work. So yeah, so I'm going to have a download uh, in the description for this, for that version of Skate 3. Um, and that is for Xbox 360. So you're going to need a modded Xbox 360, a reset glitch hack, or a JTAGged Xbox 360. Uh, and then you are going to want to find, so you're going to have this right here. It's going to look like this. And so game and then Skate 3 RF, which is region free. You want to go to data. And then you want to go to any anywhere you like, but you don't want to find a texture that you want to mod. And in my case, I want to go to content, marquee, or marquee, I don't know how to pronounce that, um, and texture. And then I'm going to want to find a file here that I want to mod. But man, I can't see what these files are. I can't read them. There is no way for me to open these files. Well, there is now, because I actually made a script that does just that. So. Uh, what you want then is a tool called Noesis. And I made a script for it, Skate 3, uh, RX2, Unpacker, or uh, yeah, I don't know what, what to call it, but it just basically converts it to a uh, file format of your liking. So let's uh, start. So let's find a texture. Let's find this guy. Let's hit Export. So I'm just going to show you here that you can scroll through. And you can look at the textures. Yeah. Right? So let's do this guy. This white guy. Just like me. Uh, let's export that. And let's hit export. And OK. Now, minimize that. And in here now, you're going to see the texture. Boom. You have a Skate 3 texture. What? No way. Yes, you do. Okay, so you think, oh yeah, that's fucking cool, um, but what am I going to do with it? Oh, well, you can use it for your game, or you can use it for anything you'd like. But what I want to do is I want to mod it, and I want to put it back into the RX2 file. And how you do that is you do it like this. You copy this file into Skate 3 Texture Bundler, which I will provide. So... Open Skate 3 Texture Bundler, drag and drop into here, and then you rename this file, the Taga file, one.taga. Right? Uh, I guess we already have one, but here we go. One.taga. Okay. What we want to do then is we want to mod it. So we are going to paint something on this guy, like this. And then we're going to save. And we're going to save it as a um, Taga file, because it's, it's a Taga file. And it's going to be, it's not going to be compressed. It's going to be a 32-bit 32, 32 Taga file. Hit OK. And then close it down. OK. So now we are going to need some information about the texture. Because we want the texture to look good. We want it to fit in the game. We want the game to read the texture. OK. So what we do then is we are going to need a hex editor, and I have HXD. So what we want is to look at the original uh, RX2 file. So how we do that is we find this guy again in here. We go open in Explorer. That's going to take us to the Explorer window here. So we are going to drag and drop this file, the RX2 file, into your hex editor. And then we're going to scroll down to offset uh, 167, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. And then we're going to see it says 52, which corresponds to a large R. Uh, and that represents a DXT1 uh, texture. Uh, and, and if there was an S here, it would be a DXT3 texture, 
And if there was a large T, so all of these have to be large R, large S, and large T. If it's a large R, it's a DXT1. If it's a large S, it's a DXT3. And if it's a large T, then it's DXT5. So remember what it says on this offset, right? 167, 167. It says R, that's a DXT1. Remember that. Now we go back into Skate 3 Texture Bundler. We open the file that says Skate3.rdf. Edit with Notepad or Notepad++, whatever you want to edit with. And then there's going to say Format. And it says DXT5 now. But since it said R, we want it to be DXT1. Right? And then you open the file again with your... Uh, picture editor or whatever editor you, you use. I use uh, paint.net. Down here it's going to tell you the, the width and the height of the picture. And in this case it's 512 times 512. So we are going to type 512 512. So now we know it's a DXT1 and we know it's 512 and 512. So we save. Now those settings are saved. What we want to do now is we want to build this file. So we can remove this. I don't know, you, you won't even have it. But So how we do that is we make sure this is called 1.taga and we make sure these settings are correct. Then we go into command and we copy this command right here. And then we start bundler. Oh, wait, it doesn't start. It's a command line tool. So we have to type CMD up here. CMD, hit enter. That will open the command prompt in this location. Then we paste the command in here that we copied from command. Then we hit enter. And that will now build the texture. Boom, it's done. Not really, but it's almost done. So now we're going to have a file that is 194 kilobytes large. The original one down here is 193. Uh, but <laughs> believe me, it's the same uh, texture. OK, the only difference is the header. So XP, the XPR file, as you can see, it says YY, mm -hmm, YY, uh -huh -huh, and then this, and then RA. Same here, Y, 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 R, A. Yo, look at that. So it's the same texture, it's the same format. So what we do is we go to this offset, which is, it's always going to be the same offset. It's 80C or 800C, right? We go to it and then we click on it and then we scroll all the way to the end, we hold shift and then we click and then highlight everything from the start of the texture data. OK, and that is going to show us the length here. And in this case, it's 30,000. So we do Control C to copy. Then we go into the original texture, right? And then we find the start of that. And oh, this is such a clutter. Where does it start? Well, it's easy. It always starts at 238. And there is always going to be 0, 08 in front of it. So 0, 08, right there. And then right there is 238 offset. Click. And then go to the, the bottom, highlight everything, and look at the length 30,000 here, too. So you can just delete it. And then you can just hit Control V. And now we have a modified Skate 3 file. And then we just hit Save. And then we put it on our, in our game, and we run it. And it works. And that's how you do it. Um, I don't want it to be modded, though, with cluddy, weird textures. I want the originals for this. So, <laughs> uh, But yeah, so that's how you mod textures in Skate 3. So let's do it one more time. One more texture. So we're going to remove this target file. We're going to find a new one. So we're going to use Noesis. And we're going to go through these files, and we're going to find another texture. So this file, this, this texture. We're going to hit export. Boom. 
we are going to open an explorer just to prepare it. Well, that's that's sort of dumb. I <laughs> what what am I what am I saying? Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit export, and that's the file name. So I'm just going to make sure I have that. Search for it. Okay, copy that over. Right, so now we have the texture in here. And then we rename it to 1 so that bundler.exe can read it. And then we make sure this, the settings are correct. So first, we mod it somehow. Boom. <laughs> cool mods, right? Cool, cool texture modifications. We save 32-bit not compressed. Okay. And then close it. And then we check so everything's correct. And we do that by going in here. And we need to find this uh, texture. So this is the texture. So what we do is we open in Explorer so that we have it highlighted. And then we open up HXD, drag and drop, look at the file. And it's going to be R. So it's going to be uh, a DXT1. Remember that. R, DXT1, S, DXT3, and T is DXT5. So R is a DXT1. So we go back in here. And we look at the size of this. And it is 512 times 512. Look at that. Which means we don't even have to change this. Because it's the exact same. If it was something different, then you would have to change the width and height. But in this case, it's a DXT1, and it's a 512.512. So we just keep it. And uh, what we do then is uh, type CMD. We get the command, copy it. We paste it. We hit Enter. And then it's building, and it's built the file. So here we have the new file, which we are going to drag and drop into HXD. Scroll to this offset, which is always 800C, or 80, and then a C. So 800C. Um, we're going to go from there all the way to the end. Hit copy. Go into the texture that you want to mod. And then you want to find the offset where it starts, which is always 238. And then all the way to the end, it's... 30,000 here too. So we're just going to do control V to paste over it. Right? And then we hit save and then it's done. And then we have a modified RX2 file. And yeah, that's how you do it. It's not very difficult. It is pretty simple. Um I'm just glad it's not it's not very difficult. It's just I well, I guess this is this just this whole experience and figuring this out and all the months I've been doing this now has been a pain, but it was totally worth it now that there is a pretty simple method. So, yeah. Um, I guess that's it for this video, actually. I don't, I don't think, I can't think of anything else to show you, really. Um, I mean, Noesis is pretty, you know, simple. You just go through the textures, right? like this. You just go through them and it's going to show you you know what it is you want to see basically. You just find whatever texture that you want to modify and um, you can export it. I guess I can show you something here. If you do go to tools and you go to batch process and then here you want to type RX2 and an output, you want to type uh, TGA, and then uh, or PNG, whatever. If it's if it's TGA, then yes, then you can mod the mod the file in the future. If it's a PNG, you're gonna have to do extra steps. But yeah, a PNG or TGA. Then what you do is you uh, find the folder, basically that 
you um, with the textures and it's marquee and texture for me so I'm just gonna highlight that and hit OK and then it's gonna show me a shit ton of textures here and then you hit export and it's gonna batch export all these to TGA so yeah uh, that's about it for this video um, it might take uh, about a day or so extra for me to upload the Skate 3 Unpacked game after I upload this video, but the download will be there tomorrow, I guess. So, um, yeah, so there's that. So thank you for watching, and um, have a wonderful, wonderful life ahead of you. Peace out.